Hey guys, sorry for your back in KSP. I have uh, had some uh, lack of inspiration, so I haven't posted a video in a while with some new planes or some new ideas. So. But I was looking on the uh, forum and saw on the work in progress thread a plane made by Yakuzi. I thought it looked pretty cool and I, his idea for a cockpit and a plane were pretty cool so I took that idea and made my own plane with it. I'm calling it the Stealth because it uh, looks pretty stealthy. So just like the Yakuzi I have a cockpit down here. I'll look through the plane with two seats and a ladder. I have a uh, docking port on top. And we have a VTOL engine down here. It is a SSTO and a VTOL. So an SSTO VTOL. With some pretty, pretty slick lines, I think. You can fly it in uh, without the SCC ESCS, but I like it better with, so I'm going to turn it on. So I don't have to focus on the flying too much while I explain. Um, this is the bottom. Come on, get up. There we go. It looks pretty uh, clean, pretty sweet with the wings around the VTOL engine. The gear fold away nicely now it might look like the gear is connected to a wing but actually it's connected to the hull and moved with the toggle so that's nice so you get a good firm landing gear which is spread out nice so uh, this uh, plane has a little trick you might have seen it if you looked closely at it that's uh, air brakes. So you can get your plane to stand still pretty well. That's a nice and easy if you want to land it. Just throttle down. And find that sucker. There you go. You of course can also use it on a horizontal landing, but the only problem with this technique is I'm connected to the Rocket Max engines, um, the mini Rocket Max engines, to the um, brakes. So if I turn on the handbrake, I'm using fuel, so uh, you can't really park this one. Let's take off and let's go uh, into orbit, pretty quick, so it shouldn't take too long. Turn it around. Close the air intakes. Not all of them, of course, but most of them. Turn on the engines. I'm using a uh, turbo uh, engine clipped into a um, rapier engine. An idea by Rune. It works pretty well. And let's get up. Um, I usually try to go at about a just below 50 degrees. Oh, not the Weasel engine. Don't want to slow myself down. But this way you get a nice climbing rate and you keep gaining speed. When I reach about 10,000 meters I'm gonna level out and gain some more speed. So, this gives us time to look at the plane a little bit more. 
It looks pretty sweet. The forward swept wings make it look pretty cool. Just like the Su. 24 or. Or no, 34, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure. But still, it looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah. On some other uh, note, I've been playing some other games like Subnerdia. I think it's a pretty cool game. Might make some videos on that. I've also been playing Warframe. The tip of one of my subscribers. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool game. I don't know if I can make a video on it. You know? I'm more like a kind of making videos about uh, things I built. And you, know, you don't build anything in Warframe except your Warframe, but I don't think it, it's much creativity. It's more like a, just building a suit. So when I'm above 10,000, I'm going about, uh, I don't know, 15 degrees up. Gaining some speed, 500, 600. Just try to go faster and faster, keeping my eye on the air intake, and we're on fire, nice. It's pretty fast when you get up high this plane, then again, most planes can become pretty fast if you get it high enough. Oh, it's you might have noticed the air intake is about 22, so there are a lot of intakes on it, most are for looks like around the edges but others are more for cheating I don't care, I want to get an easy plane so I have a lot of uh, ram air intakes and I got an air intake on the nose cone so leveling out a little bit more, gaining more speed we're now at about 23,000 meters up just keep gaining speed. The engines are connected by um, fuel lines, so they should be able to run at 1% each air intake or 0.01 air intake. So you can go pretty fast and pretty high. If you just keep going straight now, you can, when you reach about uh, 2000 meters, you'll be leaving the orbit automatically. Okay. Now I'm gonna, s oh, wrong button. Uh, I'm gonna switch on the air intakes. Yeah, that's it. Turn that on, gain more speed. Apparently the turbo engine turned off. The advantage of course of having the engines in line in the middle. So if they switch off you don't flip out. So now gain some more speed. Uh, 1800. And we're at about 30,000. Plenty of air. Just like I said, this is a bit of a cheaty plane, but I don't care. I just want to get it to orbit quickly. Just keep on gaining altitude. I'm gonna push it up a little bit. Or about uh, above 2,000, almost 2,100. And our Apple Apps is climbing pretty fast. So keep an eye on the turbo engine. We're gonna switch off the um, uh, rap. Uh, no, not the ra the rapier engine first because the turbo engine has a better at this height 
just keep on gaining speed. For as long as it can. I'm gonna go horizontal now. And just gain more speed. So we have a uh, area pips. You know, 150,000 app webs. Just on jet engines alone. And just keep on going. And lower our throttle to keep on thrust. Okay, turn it off. Well, five switches the rapier engine. Now we have to make a maneuver. See, that's about 200. And I want to, but. Oh. No, slow down. Slow down. There we go. 160 over 160. Nice. So, um, not a cheaty thing. Uh, the, the plane has a nuclear uh, generator on board, so you have plenty of power. And I'm gonna just speed up the thing. And keep speeding it up, slow down. Damn it. Turn on the rapier engine in rocket mode and round out our Apple webs. Turn it off. And so we have uh, around Apple webs and still have 160 fuel and 170 oxidizer. So I could probably reduce the oxidizer, but well, we're in orbit, so who cares? So there we are. <clears throat> this is a nice plane for a rendezvous. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. So I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you like it, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and uh, leave your comments in the commentary. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.